Hi everybody, welcome to our latest video. I'm Rich. I'm Kelly. And I'm Rayla. And we are uh, Wonder Best Adventures. Adventures. Hey, this week's video, we're going to be doing a little experiment. Basically, we are going to tint one of our glass windows and the other one we are going to paint it and we're going to see which method works the best. Sounds crazy, but you'll see. Um, we're also going to be insulating our walls and sound deadening today. And we've got some questions for you and things to share throughout the video. So thank you for watching. Um, if you're new here, do consider subscribing. If you're returning here, thank you so much. You're ever so mega and we love your comments and love your help. So hope you enjoy. Let's get on with it. Ew, look how gross these windows are. <laughs> it's disgusting. I don't know why I'm laughing about it. Rich is using his tough brush. <laughs> <laughs> Take care of using that to make charcoal. And we're just cleaning the windows so we can uh, reseal them because they all leak. So we're trying to start with a clean base for its jointing. We, we want to try and have a go at tinting these. We're either going to tint them or spray paint them. We don't know which yet, but we've got some tint to try it out. So wish us luck. We've never done it before. So we're just like going to be guessing. <laughs> what is this? Some kind of clay? So this is like automotive clay bar. Um, and you usually use it on car paint, but you can use it on glass as well to get the dirt and contaminants out of the window, out of the glass. So we've already cleaned this twice. <coughs> um, and now I'm playing it and you can see the crud that's come out of the glass. So that's just by wiping it over. Um, and we're doing this just before we attempt to do our tinting. So we have got a few sort of scorch marks in here from the grinder. So if anyone doing it in the future, cover up your windows. That's um, what we should have done. That's what we should have done. They didn't so. think of it at the time, to be honest. But this this will help get get anything out. So from the outside, once the tint goes on, it should look as well. It won't look perfect because we're doing it for the first time, but it'll look as smooth as it can be. Learn from our mistakes, people. Cover your windows if you're grinding. <laughs> we are starting to think about tinting our windows. So supposedly you need to measure it on the outside of the window and make sure it's wet so it doesn't stick to it. So you have to clean the inside and the outside. So Rich is now gonna measure it on the outside that then we can then stick it to the inside after. So you can then move it because it's got the safe on it. So oh, we bought this little cutting tool and he's gonna cut it to side hopefully now. I have to trim that off if you're on the edge and now I'm doing this to the outside. If it looks quite good in the middle then I'll make an effort at trim it. It's supposed to be completely black out there and it's not. Let's see what it looks like from the outside. Yeah. Okay, so attempt one at tinting our windows. You can see the results here. Not too bad. Got a tiny crease right up in the top there. Um, that I'm going to try and get out. Overall, it looks quite good. The effect is good anyway. So it does let some light in, but we're not, we're not worried if it doesn't because um, we're going to be putting King's fan behind there. Cal, hold something up against the window a minute. So there's a big piece of King's fan up against the window. You can't actually see it though on camera. So it kind of proves the point that it'll work. It'll block out anything that we put up against it. If I really hold up against it, you can maybe just about see it. So yeah, that's our first window done. Okay, seal up the windows. I've used this Arbo mask stuff, uh, recommended to us by Slowly Wild on Instagram. Um, mega couple, go and follow them. I'll leave a link down below. So this stuff is used um, on modern day windscreens. It basically, is a sealant that is flexible and doesn't ever fully harden. So what I've done is I've taped up windows and gone around the edge with a small bead, and I've used this profiler tool. Um, to, to basically supplement the seal that was already there. Now on my windows, in this corner down here where this rust is, which I'm gonna treat on another day, 
Let me just point out to you, pull that down. Here, there was a clear break in the seal of about a centimetre. So I've recreated the seal using that. And I'm hoping that that's gonna solve our leak. Uh, these holes here are to let condensation out. Now, tomorrow, once this has gone off, I'm gonna to check to see if that has solved the leak. If not, I may um, seal those up because we're gonna be sealing up behind the glass anyway. Obviously, these aren't unique to most Mercedes Varios, but we've sealed this one out. It looks good. We're hoping that this will stop the leak. Okay, it's Monday morning. Um, I'm off work this week and I'm going to be trying to get a few jobs done. And yesterday did this back window tint and today I'm going to try and seal up the other windows. But I still have a leak and I'm suspecting it is to do with this. So I'm going to, I wasn't, hope, I hope not to do this for the moment. I'm going to bite the bullet and repair this um, now and then seal up all around the frame. I've sanded that back a little bit. Uh, I reckon that this is an old repair, so a repair that's probably been made when the bus was resprayed before and when they did it, perhaps they didn't clean it back as well as it should have been cleaned back. The reason I say that is you can see there where that pitted metal is, there's still white paint there. So they kind of just sanded it back a little bit, I think, and then just gone over it with black. So what I'm gonna do is just take a little bit of time to clean that right back now, and then treat it with some Genolite. I'm gonna undercoat that and fill it, and then overcoat it. So it'll be nice and protected and it'll stop it from rusting again. I put two coats of rust encapsulator from Buzzworld on there. So that's like a self-etching primer. And then I finished it off with a top layer primer for the time being. And later in the summer, we'll paint over this. Now, I did a pretty good job, if I do say so myself, of tinting our uh, first window. But John and Kerry do with 2K paint. And I'm gonna do an experiment with this sheet of glass here. Sheet of glass with some bird muck. Um, let's see how that comes out. Let's cover it My test piece of glass, I really should have cleaned the outside of the glass, but um, yeah, that's kind of the effect you'll get. God, that's filthy. Let's crack on with the actual window painting. So yeah, I did get a bit of orange peel on the inside, but with the next go, you know, I just won't apply, apply thinner coats. On the outside though, it looks fine. Well, it looks really good on the outside. So yeah, pleased with that. So obviously this window is not painted. That's a big bird pool on it though. And this one I have. So again, there's some stuff on the outside of the window. Some sealant here and so on and so forth. But you can see it has completely blacked out now, which for us is ideal because we're gonna insulate over that. Um, so we're not gonna want to look out of that window ever anyway. You can see the effect there on the back window. We really need to clean the bus, it's disgusting. Um, yeah, I'm really pleased with that, how that's come out. What we're gonna do next is segment off part of this window. So halfway down and across um, to basically cut off the bedroom so we can insulate the whole bedroom. And then these two windows here, we're gonna do half of the window, well, probably about, I would say a third of the window, like a slither across and the same on the one next to it. Um, and that's for our splash back for our kitchen. These guys are like our new best friends. They like actually come and watch us working on the bus. And uh, yesterday, one of them even came in the bus and was like walking around, like just watching, like what are you doing? I mean, if you take with his joints right. Oh, I might have done that wrong. Oh, Rich, what are you doing, mate? Oh, that's bad. He's left that bad. Oh, mate. I'm disappointed in you. Oh, mate, I'm out of here. This is rubbish watching. So you may have noticed that the bus is full of this sort of red glue. Um, I've got some on my beard. We're not actually going to remove that. So I've heated it up um, and determined that it doesn't smell. It's not doing any harm, it just looks unsightly. But one of the things I am going to make sure is completely removed is all the dirt that's sort of attached to it. So we've kind of got dirt, detritus, um, 
some sort of fiber like fibers from the fiberglass on there so what i'm going to do is is work my way along the bus and just clean all of that off now so that's what i'm doing today it's not very glamorous but you know if you've been following our channel for a while you know that we show you everything because this is just the reality of van build um not everything is like super exciting this is one of the things that we've had to do um and people don't usually show it you know it's, it's just, you could spend hours and hours doing this sort of stuff and not realize it so yeah this is why we share this stuff so hopefully you find it helpful you can see the fiberglass and dirt all in the ceiling in this photograph and once we'd removed it basically all we were left with with was a, a little bit of glue which isn't going to bother us we're going to cover over anyway we have some leftover sound deadening from when we did both of our classic minis so we're going to see if it is enough and of course great british weather it's raining but we'll be able to see if our windows are still leaking i guess bang it daddy bang it daddy Yeah, it booms. Yeah. yeah, it booms. What this stuff does is it's a silent coat. It adds mass to it, okay, which then makes that boom go away. It should just be a short, sharp sound once you're finished. So that when we're in the bus, it's not so noisy. So these are quite big panels. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut these into four, I think, and spread them across the panel. It sounds like we're made doing an alternative band. It's just with one on it. Yeah. And dad, band. Yeah. Do you know the difference? Yeah. So if we put one there, one there, one there from this piece, and then that, so that would be two pieces, about, about two pieces on each panel spread. We should have a dead panel there. You doing, Lil? I'm peeling. Are you doing? Guys? Can I stick it on? Yes, I am, guys. Right. Yeah, now I'm going to flatten it on. Can I do the roll off? Stick it in. Can I stick it on? Mm -hmm. Turn it for me. Hi, my name is. Um, this is my life. Hi, my name is Ryan. <laughs> My life's kind of crazy. <laughs> my name is Ryan. And this is my life. <laughs> Can I stick it on first? Yeah, that's yeah. right. roll the right. And it won't fall off again. Betty's going to clean up. Put it on fast forward and then we'll go back forward. Yeah? Yeah. I hope you get it done quicker. Yes. It's quite a cold day today, so I'm just going to go around and um, gently heat up the sand down and then roll it down again just to make sure it's adhered so most of it is really well adhered but i noticed a couple of the corners lifting off so i'm just going to make sure i go over them and we know that that won't ever come off so yeah you can see these ones i've gone over and there's no way that they're ever going to come off now um, so i've squashed them down this one here you can see that it might so what i'm going to do is Get my heat gun on the low setting. It does, you don't need to apply much heat to this stuff. Like, not, not much at all, to be honest. Just go over it with the heat gun and the roller at the, at the same time and over each of these panels. Oh so yeah, just the rest of the bus to do. Can we get on with that now? I'm using a heat gun on lower setting. You could just use a hairdryer, to be honest. Um, and storing this stuff in the house where it's warm before you use it would help as well. I stored mine in the garage, which, you know, it's cold out here today. So, yeah, that's what I'm up to at this second. Daddy's got a little helper today. It's me. Who are you? Me. Oh. Hello. Pass it on over. You go. Thank you. 
Short guy problems, roll and ceiling on the baby's door. Thank you. I'm going to put that somewhere you want, Dad. That was quick. I now have to be quick. These are obviously a big piece of metal, so we want to make sure that they are also self deadened. So we're going to put a couple of bits on there before we cover them over. Okay, so this morning, the carnage that lays before me is clear. Um, we've got a bunch of plywood coming today for the floor, which is exciting. So we've gone for 18 millimeter ply and we need to get all of this stuff, this insulation into our bus somehow. So what we've got here is 50 millimeter um, insulation for the walls and ceiling. And I've got some 25 mil for the sides of the ceiling here. Um, so this is all got to go in the bus. I've got sort of 10 sheets of it here, ready to go in. This round bundle of joy is made of recycled plastic bottles. Um, bought it off of Amazon, it's a big roll. So what we're gonna use this for is stuffing in all the little gaps, nooks and crannies that because of the shape of our van, it's difficult to get um, the foam board into. So we're gonna sort of surround any pockets of gaps, any little bits and bobs with this stuff. And we're also gonna be filling our pillars with this stuff too, to try and cut down on our thermal bridges. It looks like one continuous sheet, but it's definitely a roll, I hope. Look at it, it's so fluffy. And this is it's free stuff as well. So unlike the fiberglass and stuff that we took out of the bus, this is safe to handle um, without gloves. I'm going to keep it sort of aerated in here though, because it'll probably be a bit unpleasant to breathe in these. But yeah, this is all made of recycled bottles, so it won't absorb water either, um, which is a bonus. Yeah, so what I'm doing is jamming this um, plastic wall stuff all down in here fill this cavity up and then put in the foam board in between. Stuffing it in. Stuffing it in. I don't want to compress this too much but in here we're better off having this gap filled. It's just in here really in these things here we're just filling those up with this stuff and then once the uh, foam insulation goes in the middle should create a big a nice barrier and we're going to poke some through all these little holes as well but that'll be a job for tomorrow this is our new floor so this is eucalyptus centered plywood, some marine plywood um, for our top level floor. It's 18 millimeters, so it's nice and thick. Now, two of us have just lifted this off the van. I have absolutely no idea how I'm gonna get it in the van later, because this is not something that Kelly will be lifting. Here comes Kelly, coming to inspect the insulation so far. It's not going great but we're still insulating. <laughs> okay, so spaceship mode is beginning. Uh, we've got some big sheets in now. I'm gonna carry on with this tomorrow. So I've just got this one to finish down here. This one I'm gonna leave for now because we're gonna be putting in our water heater here. And then we'll be ready to take this up and then insulate the ceiling. But once we've taped all this side up, we are gonna lay our plywood floor um, on top of this king span. So, there was a squeaking in the bus when I put this insulation in. Now, because of the beams we've got in here, I've had to put it in in a couple of pieces. So I put it in over the wheel arch, it's all in neatly, and there's a squeaking sound. And it's like squeak, 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 every time I'm moving around the bus, and I'm like, 
that is really annoying and I wish I hadn't bought this insulation. So I ripped all the insulation out, the squeaking's still there. Now, what else has happened in the last hour? Carol, what else has happened in the last hour? We've had some of our plywood for the floor delivered. And where's the plywood for the floor? On the side of the bus. <laughs> it was this squeaking up against the bus, against the pallet when he moved up and down. Can't hear it now because we've put this bit of plastic behind so this bus don't get damaged, but that's what it was. Poor Rich, it's nearly broken him. I was, I was like, let's get wool, let's do, do all the wool insulation instead. This stuff's rubbish. There were some swears that rhyme, <laughs> that rhyme with duck. There were some swears <laughs> that rhyme with duck. And it wasn't even a duck's fault. And anyway, it's not the insulation. It's all okay. I'm going to carry on with it now. But yeah. Fun times. Fun times. <laughs> <laughs> so a normal person would just carry it in, but it's so heavy, I can't lift it. So we breathe a new way. <laughs> Go on then. With that all away, this is basically how we ended the day with the walls insulated. Uh, this is basically the end state. So we've taped all of the joints now, all the way up to the back um, on both sides. So we've got a barrier now. I mentioned that we're going to fill these all these holes up with some of that bottle insulation. And then the idea will be that once we've finally decided where our windows will be either tinted or painted, we're going to actually insulate over those windows too. And then the vapour barrier will go over the whole thing. So we'll use some Reflectex type stuff to go over the bottom and then all the way up to the top where we've insulated so we can try and stop any sort of warm air hitting these bits of metal basically and, and getting any condensation on them. That's the idea. So yeah, that's the wall insulation done. So all the help that you've been giving us and all of the questions that you've answered for us has been really, really helpful. Um, we're at a stage now where we're planning the next stage and it's like a huge task. So we've come up with a potential idea. For a video, but we want to know if you'd be interested in taking part in it or not. So basically we thought we could talk through what our next step of our plans are and we could ask you loads of questions to get your advice on it and it's going to be a live video so you could potentially watch it live with us and then ask us questions as we're making the video and then we'll obviously set it up so if you can't make it at that time you know you, you can, can see it. yeah you can watch it just as you're watching this now um and we're thinking we'll structure it so you know we, we can reveal some of the plans of what we've got coming up ask you guys any questions because we found that so helpful um and then just maybe share some of the updates from that build week too. Let us know what you think. Is it a good idea or not? Be honest. Thank you so much for your help and advice on the floor in last week. We think we know what we're going to do now, but we'll let you know that in a future video. But very excitingly, we need now have our ultra safety floor samples come in. I couldn't remember the name then. <laughs> <laughs> and here they are. One two, three, or four. Let us know your favourites. And we're coming to the end of the video now, so we want to say thank you so much for watching and please like, comment and subscribe because it means so much to us and we love reading all your comments. One, two, three. Bye! Bye. In this week's update, we've got a little bit of an eclectic <gasps> mix. There's two cats and a dog. <laughs> we'll film that again. Okay. <laughs> what are you doing? Mum, come next to me and then you can see what if we're the same height now. No, I still think I'm going to be taller. Mum, don't stand next to me to see. Okay, go. Why does Santa have three gardens? I don't know, Lily. Why does Santa have three gardens? Because he can ho, ho, ho. <laughs> I have a brand new one. Do you? Why does the 
Teeth. Teeth? I don't know why does the tooth fairy keeps teeth. In her gardens. Why? <laughs> Go for her little garden fence. Oh, I wish I'd filmed the poof, but it's just poofed up into a massive snowman. Look at it. <laughs>